guys. That looks so oh, good. It doesn't use. <laughs> oh my god, I love caramel. Oh, delicious. Look at that trip. finally arrived they sat us down next to this awesome view, this view. of the lake here <laughs> right outside that's an awesome view here while we're dining yeah. and over behind there you can see is the uh, light lighthouse like a little lighthouse yeah. it's so pretty Perfect. all right we're so excited right yeah i'm excited we're looking at the specialty cocktail menu so mm -hmm. we'll tell you about it paul tell you about it in just a few minutes so we just like i said we just sat down here's the menu and it's very affordable here it's 29 per adult and 17 per child and it's the taste of caribbean so they start you out with some rolls uh spice necklace salad and the taste of the caribbean here is all the items they give you here in the plate uh, the mojo pork was really good the flank steak um they also give you the pineapple bread pudding which you guys know i love uh, bread pudding they do have a taste of caribbean enhancement which we're going to order it's the actually the coconut shrimp with a creamy chipotle dipping sauce that is something actually you can add to your menu here. They also have a plant-based menu for all the vegan and vegetarians, which is a great option here. And they got the special non-alcoholic drinks here. I think Magnus is gonna get the flounder colada. Uh, there's a pineapple con uh, coconut with banana layered with orange flavored ice cream topped with whipped cream. Ooh, that sounds really good. And that's here. And then we also, you know, we love our specialty cocktails. Let me show you, uh, they have the menu here, but let me show you a different menu that they have here, separate from the app. And they have this little specialty menu here. Like it's on a uh, wooden board here. And it says here, Sebastian's. Awesome. And Magnus is gonna get the, I believe, what is it? The uh, Car Caribbean Smuggler? Yes. And it has, yep, and it has all the um, ingredients here, the price. And I got myself uh, a, a Mariner's Mojito because I like mojitos also, other than beers. But I like how it looks pretty cool, the menu had here on a piece of wooden board. Pretty neat. And they also have the plant allergy friendly menu. So, uh, for you know, people who are actually allergic to certain types of food, they also have a menu just for you guys. Our special drinks have arrived. As you can see, this is the Caribbean Smuggler with a nice big piece of pineapple there. That looks really refreshing. I want to yeah. see how sweet it tastes. <laughs> All right, okay. let's taste that. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Is it one of those dangerous drinks? It's another one of those dangerous <laughs> drinks where I can have like two or three of those. Uh oh. I don't know if I'll get up later if I have too many of those, but this is so delicious and so refreshing. Yeah. Look at the nice pineapple. Oh, yeah, that's why I, yeah, I mentioned mm. that pineapple looks pretty good. So if I see a pineapple, I know it's going to be super sweet. Very good. Yeah. It's very tasty. I highly recommend it. You can taste the, I can taste the coconut right after. Like it gives you a hint of pineapple juice and the rum and then bam you get the little coconut flavor yeah, at the definitely end. your Very type good. of drink yeah <laughs> absolutely and paul is having they just brought his mariners mojito paul yes. really enjoys mojito they're very refreshing also i i do yeah. like and we both were talking about the glass how the glass is oh so yeah pretty. i like the grip on it the, the the design on there yeah so you can grab it really cool 
Yeah. All right, let me go ahead and so try taste it and it. see, baby. Here, cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. It's so good, huh? It's so sweet. Like the pure cane sugar they add onto the mojito here. I can't even taste the hot call. This for me is a dangerous drink. <laughs> wow, I recommend you. If you like mojitos, you're gonna like this one here, the Mariners uh, mojito. Really good. Mm. Mm. And I just wanted to show you guys, for all you ladies or even men that love nice dishes and nice place in your home, check this plate out here. It's so pretty. I love the little outline of this here, the plate. And I love the presentation with the red napkin, like Sebastian. Very neat. Our dinner has begun. The spiced nick and salad here. It has the mixed greens with kale, toasted pumpkin seeds. Ooh, seeds. Oh yeah, look at the seeds right there. Grilled pineapple, orange, spiced candied walnuts, and with radish with key lime dressing. Oh, and I love those radishes. Yeah. Oh, radishes I always right forget there. the name, but that is actually radish. Oh, My son so, knew we're right. It's beautiful. It looks like a flower even. Yeah, it's so pretty. <laughs> and a big pretty. chunks of pineapple right look there. At the pineapples and I like how they have walnuts, pineapples, orange yeah. and I've never had any salads with pumpkin seed. That's going to be yeah, interesting very for interesting. us. So that is the salad. Mm -hmm. We got our rolls here oh, and these rolls these come rolls. with two special butters. Uh, it comes with the guava butter and a caramel, a caramelized onion jam onion here. Oh, wow. Look at the bread and look at the presentation. Yeah, I like how the, the tops of the yeah, breads. <laughs> I cannot wait. This is also a very interesting bread yeah, type Look at the for jam us. there and the butter there. Yeah. And as you said, we added the enhancement. Magnus and I love the coconut shrimp, as you can see here. Look at the big pieces of uh, how big these shrimps are. Yeah. And it comes with that, uh, what is it? What type of sauce was that? Again? I think it was like an aioli uh, aioli sauce. Yeah, like a chipotle. Yeah. Chipotle sauce. So a little yeah. bit of a kick with a nice little look lemon, at the lemon there. presentation. Yeah. <laughs> Even the lemon looks, looks like cute. a flower. <laughs> also, <laughs> very nice. Can't wait to try out these shrimps. Delicious. So Paul's gonna try the bread roll with the guava with butter. The guava butter. Yeah. It's so interesting. I've never had guava butter. <laughs> and these rolls break apart pretty easy, so they, they get they get yeah. split in half here. So it's yeah. really good. Let me yeah, go ahead and try. Even, you don't even need to cut them. Yeah. Let me go ahead and try it with the uh, guava butter. Mm. Oh my God. How's that butter? <laughs> Good as, as the sweetness complements the rolls. Oh man, Max, you gotta try it. The, that guava butter is to die for. Look it at looks that. delicious. Oh, no, so for sweet. little presentation, mm. little cup that it comes with. Oh my god, try it with that onion a little bit of that onion. Uh, that for the onion jam, there, mm -hmm. onion dip there, and see. I heard that's pretty good. Yeah, too. Let's go ahead and get a nice little chunk right here for the onion jam. Oh, that little onion jam looks delicious. So far, that guava too. butter is delicious. Let's try it with the onion jam here. Mm. Wow. <laughs> is it good? Is it too oniony or kind of sweet? Or? Sweet. Because it's caramelized. Yeah, it's onions, caramelized so. onions. Well, I don't know what I like better, the the um, onion jam or the guava butter. They're both <laughs> delicious spreads for these butter for the rolls. They look so good. Awesome. I can't wait delicious. to try it. <laughs> so, what was your favorite, the guava butter or the onion jam? Oh my goodness, both of them are fantastic. Mm -hmm. New to us completely. I say, if you already like Disney's honey butter, you will love the, the guava, guava yeah. butter even more. Yeah, it's, the guava I butter. think it's even better than the honey yeah. butter. It's the best it's butter I've tasted. It's sweet, <laughs> but it's a light sweetness yeah. where it's not like the honey butter. It's too sweet. It's just right in the onion jam. Oh my goodness. The caramel, <laughs> I already love, we already love big fans of caramelized onions, especially me. But this one is an actual jam, so when you first taste it, it's like Bam! You get a little bit hit of caramelized onion and then smooths off. You can taste the sweet jam taste. It's like incredible, incredible. Fantastic, fantastic so far. Love it, love it. And now it's time to try the salad. Salad, yeah. Let me get a nice big piece of radish here. A colorful radish. Oh, I love that. It's so pretty when they put radish. The vinaigrette is really, is uh, not vinaigrette, it's kind of, it's like sweet and vinegary at the same time. And you can taste the lettuce leaves and the kale, super fresh. That's how good they are. How about the radish? Was it the thin? radish was awesome too. It wasn't that strong taste radish. It was pretty good. And then let me try again with the walnut here. Oh yeah, you got a big chunk of walnut there. <laughs> I just saw that. Mm. Yeah. Really the good. walnut gives that 
extra sweet taste of the salad overall. How about the pumpkin seeds? Because remember, I had the, the weird mm. thing was that we never had it with the pumpkin seeds. Did you get that taste of the pumpkin seeds? Let me try. Let me just try it separately here. Mm, you really don't taste the pumpkin seed. It doesn't have that. Doesn't really have taste. like a real flavor. No, to it. No, I can say the, the freshness of the salad. That's what makes it excellent here. All right. Those that coconut shrimp looks delicious, babe. Try it with that yeah, sauce. Yeah, I sauce. cannot wait. I'm a big shrimp fan, yeah. seafood fan. Mm -hmm. Paul loves shrimp as well. This is coconut shrimp with this uh, chipotle, yes. chipotle sauce, which is be kind of spicy. Let's see it. So uh -huh. look at look at that shrimp. Mm, yeah, big look shrimps here. Look, it's it. kind of flingy but crunchy <laughs> at the same time. Mm. Is, it, is the is the dipping sauce kind of spicy? Actually, no. It's like an aioli, thick aioli yeah, kind aioli, of sauce. Yeah. I don't feel any spice at all. Mm. None. It complements well with yeah. the coconut shrimp. It complements the coconut shrimp. It's like a little extra oof to it. But coconut shrimp is really good. I wish it was a little sweeter. Mm, okay. Because usually it's a little bit sweeter. Yeah. But overall, maybe more it's coconut, really, right? Mmm, so crunchy, and the shrimp is so nice and soft. It's not chewy. It's so good. I really recommend these shrimp. They're so good. Yeah, it's a great enhancement, and it's only eight dollars. So, yeah, for six would, shrimps, not bad. I would definitely do it. It's not that bad. <laughs> so our main platters have arrived. It's, they call it the taste of the Caribbean. Um, it's a selection of favorite dishes inspired flavors of the Caribbean. It comes with, uh, let's see here, it's called the citrus chicken, which is right over here. It looks really good. Slow pork, slow cooked mojo pork. Mojo pork. Uh, with the mango sambal. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at the, look at the, ooh, there. Look at the yeah, mango, yeah. Yeah, the mango sauce there. And then you got the grilled uh, flank steak here. That comes with the mo mojito relish. Yeah. And it, and it also that. comes with the cilantro rice with the red beans. A vegetable curry right over here. The curry veggies. And the grilled broccolini. Yeah, I love that type of broccolini. Oh yeah, that broccoli, I love broccolini. Yeah, so mm. this is the taste of the Caribbean right here, baby. Yeah. Can't wait to dig in, right, baby? I cannot wait to get this flavorful, <laughs> savory food. It's, it's kind of like a little bit Spanish style to me, so I think it's going to be delicious. Yeah, let's try, it. let's try it. <laughs> wow, let's try this mojo pork. Look at how good that looks. Oh, that looks delicious. It is so good and looks juicy and moist, so let me try that. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Magnus and I love pork, don't we? <laughs> we love pork. We're, because of our backgrounds, not only because we're Hispanic, but we just love pork in general mm -hmm. and meat. And that is very savory and tasty. Wow. I can taste the mojo, but it's not like overpowering. Yeah. It's just like perfect. And the pork is nice and soft. So it's really good. Now let me try real quick the rice and the beans. The and now beans I am good. Hispanic, so I, I can be we both know about really good Hispanic yeah. beans, so let's see if this Caribbean style beans and the uh, cilantro rice. I'm not a big fan of cilantro, anything, but let's see. Last time I tried it was at the California Grill, which is delicious, that and Sanan yeah. Inn in was delicious too. Yeah, both those and places. And I'll put those videos yeah. on the description below. Both so those, uh, those restaurants, we did like the rice. Yeah, so. and I did like the, the rice over there, so let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Do you taste the cilantro? I can barely taste the cilantro, mm -hmm. at least not in this bite. Very subtle. And the beans are nice and soft. And I know that usually it's hard to make really good like red beans, but if you look, I'm sorry, my rice is falling <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah. The beans are actually soft and the rice has a very good cilantro flavor, which is not overpowering for me. So it's, I really like it, it's really good. Mmm, really good, nice. Mm. So I do like my meat medium well, so they, I requested it because normally it comes like medium, medium rare, so I did get a medium well. So let's go ahead and try the flank steak. Yeah, let's try that flank steak. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, really good, baby. Really good. Soft, I can see that you just took two bites and mm, it's Compared down. to the other um, steaks that come with the other family restaurants, that we family style restaurants that we tried in Disney, mm -hmm. this is really good. Yeah, as you can see, little pink in the middle, that's how I like it. Mmm. Mm, it's really good, no? Delicious flank steak. Excellent. Let's go ahead and try the chicken now. Got a little bit of the skin. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the chicken looks good too. Oh yeah. Wow. This one is like kind of broiled, right? It's really good. Very seasoned. Very like I like it. Compared to the, the chicken we had in uh, Ohana. Ohana. In our uh, last vlog there. 
delicious. This this chicken I, I comp is way better than the one in Hawaii. Yeah, Ohana, to be has honest a lot of you. flavor. And yeah. I love the Hana food was great, but this chicken here, maybe because it's like the Caribbean, more Caribbean like Latin style. style. Yeah, uh, spices. Yeah, this chicken here is excellent. Really yeah, good. Way mm. better than Ohana's. Then. Oh yeah, definitely. I like excellent. the wings in Ohana. I just didn't like the chicken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's veggies time. Let me try the vegetable curry here. How does it go with the rice? Mmm. Nice. Is, is it, it like spicy? It kind of tastes like a vegetable soup <laughs> without the soup. So the, the vegetables like a bistro? are bistro. Yeah, like a yeah, bistro. Yeah, and they cook well. Like I said, if you like vegetable soup, that's what the vegetables taste like. The vegetable curry, but without the soup, really good. Not bad. It goes well with the rice. And also, let me go ahead and try the broccolini. Oh yeah, the broccolini. We like this type of broccolini. Mmm. Really good too. I'm telling you, it's the nice and crunchy. Nice and crunchy, as you can hear. The vegetables here at the at Sebastian's uh, Bistro Cafe, excellent, really good. Mm. We actually forgot to mention the mango <laughs> sabal. We Look showed it in our pl platter view there, but let's go ahead and try it with some. Uh, you gonna put it on the pork or on yeah, the? Yeah, uh, on the pork. pork Let me yeah. put it on the pork here. I'm gonna have it a little bit with the rice and the beans here. Let's yeah. see. Look at that. It looks yeah. so good. Let's go ahead and how's it taste with the, the mango sambal? Hmm. Is it spicy at all? Or? Not spicy at all. I think if you put the mango on it, it's a good sauce. But I think once you put it on, it kind of takes away of that the mojo. mojo flavor. Yeah. So maybe I just like a, like a little topping. Maybe. Maybe I put too much right now, yeah. but I think maybe just a dab, um, because it does kind of take away from the mojo flavor of okay. the pork. Good to know. But yeah. it's still good. It's still good. So Don't good. get me wrong, it's still very delicious. But and it gives it, it a little extra oof to yeah, the food. Yeah, but use it in moderation. <laughs> yes. We're done with our main portion of the dinner. Yeah. So far, what do you think? Oh my God. It's mind blowing that this restaurant was so good. It like, it beat our expectations Man. for Sebastian. And you would never believe in the Caribbean Beach Resort that you can find Family style. So delicious. Yeah. Ooh, and yeah. very word. I love that it has it's a taste of the Caribbean, but it's like kind of Spanish style. Mm -hmm. I mean the mojo and the so far steak, everything, the, the rice and beans, steak, yeah. everything. So far, even so the good. rice and beans surprised me. Yeah. It was delicious. It's Excellent. fantastic so far. Yeah, so far it's been great and now yeah. our best part. What is Dessert. it? Dessert. <laughs> Let's get into it. Woo! The friends we have here for us are coconut pineapple, bread pudding, Yay. top with vanilla ice cream. And would you like me to pour the caramel sauce? Please. <laughs> there you go. Oh, wow, my God. Jesus, that looks so oh, good. <laughs> oh my God, I love caramel. Oh, look at Excellent. that trip. Awesome. <laughs> Can't wait. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. So we all saw our, our dessert has arrived. That bread and pudding looks mm. excellent with the caramel vanilla bean. I'm gonna compare it to Ohana's because Ohana's bread pudding was the best I've had. So hopefully it, it's the same or even better. And wow. Magnus got the flounder to go with her dessert. Yes, look at that. Yeah, wow. it was a pineapple coconut. And it's, it's a it's a pineapple coconut and banana flavor. banana that's right with the whipped cream on top yeah Ooh. so it's kind of like a slushy yeah. with ice cream with the colors of flounder from the movie yeah. yeah that's so awesome so pretty yeah. mm. cheers yeah. <laughs> all right let's see this oh my god it looks so good Oh my god. And keep in mind guys, this is a non-alcoholic drink, so. This is non-alcoholic yeah. and it's a specialty cocktail, so it's not included with the Yeah, it's meal. a mocktail, so. Wow. How is it? Oh, it's a slushy. You get the flavor of the mm -hmm. ice cream. You get that you taste first the... bam of banana. <laughs> oh, banana and first, you yeah. you taste the, 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 the pina colada and the coconut like all together. Oh and let me see this. I'm sorry, I gotta the, try the whipped yeah, the cream, cream here. Yeah. Mm. I'm a big fan of whipped cream. I know my daughter would say different, but whipped yeah. cream is delicious. See that. So, oh yeah. Yeah, I highly recommend awesome. if you guys can get this. It's very refreshing. So it's a slushy with ice cream. So Paul's gonna try the bread pudding. Yes. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna compare it to Ohana's. Let's see. Mm. All right. Mm. You know what? I think it's the same as Ohana's actually. It's just, just as, as good. good. Just as good. Really, I think 
I think it's the exact same bread pudding. They use that the other at Ohana also. Delicious. They, you don't see the difference? They said this is banana caramel. This is what Ohana used to have. I don't know, but it was just as good. Before good they salted. Because Ohana is fresh in my mind. I, for me, it tastes the same, but it's delicious. It's I love bread pudding. Thing. Oh my God, so mm. I'm going to love it as well. There you go. <laughs> so Magnus has wow. a, a difference in opinion on the bread pudding. I don't think it's too much of a difference from Ohana's because I love Ohana's bread pudding yeah. and that's a, the bomb how yes. I say it, the bomb. <laughs> this one is the bomb. It is so close. It is up there with yeah. the Ohana's. The difference from this one and Ohana, you get the actual chunks of the pineapple and yeah. the bread. They that use two different types of bread. So they it's a little sourdough, thicker. Actually, it's, yeah. yeah, sourdough bread mm -hmm. and the regular bread and it gives it a little bit more dense. It does have more of a banana and pineapple flavor to it versus the one in Ohana. Uh, Ohana, I'm sorry. But this is just as good. It's it's on the top of the list in desserts in all Disney property for me as well. So I say this one's a little bit better than Ohana's. Paul I, doesn't think yeah, so. Yeah, I still think Ohana's better, but hey. Both of them agree are to just disagree, but excellent. they're both excellent. Exactly. Excellent bread pudding. <laughs> well, as Sarah this may be but this is the end of our evening here or day here at the caribbean beach resort we had an amazing time or fantastic time, time. <laughs> <laughs> our dinner was incredible awesome. it was better than we expected yes. wasn't that big and, and it exceeded our expectations yes it really, did yeah. and i think for the price and the food Highly recommended. It yeah. was worth more than any of the, the like the other uh, upscale, family style, upscale, family upscale, family upscale family style restaurants. restaurants. It's the um, most. I would like the most bang for your buck. The overall experience, the price, with the food that you get was yeah. excellent. Well worth it. Yeah, it was well worth it. I mean, I like that it was family style, but it also had that little Caribbean taste or yeah. flavor. So it was a little bit more. Hispanic. Hispanic, Latin, Caribbean, yeah. like I said, because it's it was rice and beans, it was yeah. a mojo pork, which is, uh, in, in Spanish we call it pernil, so yeah. it, was, it was excellent it overall. It was excellent. The bread rolls, the guava oh, butter. The guava <laughs> butter with the caramelized <laughs> onion jam. Oh wow, that was out of this world, yeah, <laughs> I'm that, sorry that to was say. A, that was like the biggest surprise out of all the all the food we ate was, yeah. the, was, the, was the butter and the onion jam. It was yeah, awesome. the bread rolls was different. It was so good that I'm like, wow. It was kind of like a, I think you could probably take the bread roll as a dessert if you want. Yeah. Because it was that good. It was that good. The, uh, the salad was awesome. Oh, yes, that the salad. pieces of walnuts, pineapple. The pineapple. It even had the little pumpkin seeds, which okay. it had no flavor, but it enhanced the salad a little bit more. Exactly. And to us, that was fantastic. It was amazing refreshing salad uh, along with the pork the, the flank steak was excellent oh yes it was cooked exactly i wanted like medium well yes. yeah. the chicken was flavorful uh compared to like our like i said to ohana which that was our recent vlog yeah uh much better seasoning and magma doesn't like chicken but she thought this was was better way i better. think this this baked chicken was way better than the one in ohana because in ohana they have the chicken wings and they have the baked chicken but the chicken wings there in Ohana were fantastic, but I did not like the baked chicken. Yeah. It, it was missing the seasoning. Unlike Ohana, this had all the flavors. The, it was perfect. The rice and beans was excellent. The cilantro rice. She don't like cilantro, but she barely tasted it in the rice. Yeah, I mean, this is the like the third time that I have cilantro rice. I had it on the California grill, which we're gonna put that uh, this uh, down in the description so you guys can see that. Uh, also had it in San Angelin, which was also fantastic. And now we had it here, and actually there was, I didn't taste the cilantro flavor. I mean, it's a strong flavor. Yeah. If you guys know cilantro, what that tastes like, it's strong. It was not strong at all here. It was just perfect. perfect. It was delicious. Yeah, and then the, the end of the night was that awesome bread pudding. Oh, yeah. That bread pudding was as oh. comparable to Ohana's as good. It's up there. It's up there. <laughs> I still think Ohana's is the best, uh, best bread pudding I had. But this one had more pineapple chunks. So. Yeah, I, I liked it better here well, because of style. the big Caribbean yeah. pineapple chunks. Even though Ohana is still on the top of my oh, list. Yeah, that the best. Uh, that's the only thing that me and Paul have a little bit of a difference of in the bread pudding. This one's a little bit more dense. Yeah. And it had the banana caramel versus the, um, the salted, salted caramel, caramel yeah. like in Ohana. But still both great pudding. It was fantastic. I had no complaints about this mm -hmm. meal. 
Um, Other than that, it was excellent. The service yeah. was great. A shout out to Michael, our server. Yes, he was Michael excellent was great. there. So, if you have seen this, Michael, hello. Thank <laughs> you, you, Michael. It was great. You gave us great uh, uh, service there. Great, perfect server. He was excellent. Yeah. Disney, Disney, uh, Disney customer service, Disney uh, dining experience, always the best. And the Disney cast members always do magic here. So. Yeah, there was. It was a very magical dinner. It was, and again, it exceeded our expectation. Yeah. We definitely will be back if there's any new menus for uh, Sebastian. But we do highly recommend it. So it was great. It was great. And I wanted to say a special shout out to Karen and her daughter. We, she came to us and uh, she said hello to us. Which we always like our fans to come and say hi to us. If you yeah. guys do see us in the restaurants, yeah, come and at the say hotels, hi to us. Parks, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. That was awesome. Yeah, we love it. Nice meeting you, uh, Karen. Yes. I hope you enjoy our, our vlogs. Um, it was a pleasure <laughs> to meet you. And you know, like I said, come say hello to us. We not don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, and hello to your husband. Hi. <laughs> yes, hello to your husband. I know he doesn't believe <laughs> that you uh, took a picture with us, but yeah. hello, husband. <laughs> hello, husband. Karen's husband. So she did meet us, and we had a nice talk with her it was fantastic and we're glad that she's uh getting better and she's all good awesome <laughs> well if you did enjoy this vlog and you like these types of uh dinner experiences that we have please remember to like share and subscribe, subscribe. and hit that notification bell ding 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 so you can be up to date to all our future <laughs> vlogs well as always it was a great dinner it was fantastic, fantastic dinner. dinner all right with that we'll see you on the next Magtastic Productions. Productions. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye, -bye.